Hey, what's up? This is JDS Gamer, and today I'm doing some commentary for my own Spider-Man game, which, and you notice know, uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, based on the, uh, the second film of the uh, oh, yeah. film franchise. It's not really close to the film, you know, at all. It does feature like a metro as the villain. You know, just like the film. But it still doesn't, uh, it's not, it doesn't really follow it. It's not really like the movie, you know. And I still believe this game was underrated. Because you're like a Spider-Man fan, or you're just looking for, you know, a fun time, I would highly recommend playing this. Now it does have, like, the controls can be kind of terrible, and even the camera can be kind of terrible at times. But I still believe it's a pretty solid game. I would highly recommend playing this. Unless you went through all the other Spider-Mans, you know. I wouldn't. But being that this is the first Spider-Man game on the next generation systems, you know, like PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, I would highly recommend it, you know, for your first time playing with it on the uh, next generation. So you can see right now I'm on this 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 roof right here. Even the look of Spider Man, he looks very, you know, good, you know, like the graphics on him, he looks, he looks good, you know. There's like a billboard sign right there, cola. <laughs> And as usual, just swing around the city was, you know, very fun, you know. Now I have to go through all the uh, Spider-Man games, but I have checked out a few of the uh, open world based ones, you know. Because the first time you decided to make them uh, open world was in the uh, Spider-Man 2 game, which was based on the second film in the franchise which had uh, Dr. Octopus as the villain, you know, from the movie. And that's when they first took Spider-Man open world, gave him like a huge city to play in, you know. And at the time, the Grand Theft Auto was like, you know, very hot too, you know. That's no reason why they had went or that route with it, I believe. And they were inspired by uh, Grand Theft Auto. But they had some good Spider-Man games in the past that were like in 2D, even at the arcades, you know. They were very good, you know. Yeah, you, you have some good games, you know. See, yeah, I would highly recommend, especially if you're a Spider-Man fan. Oh, yes, you would definitely have to play this. Unless you probably play the other one, so, you know, I guess it's pretty much like them, you know. Like I say, the camera can be off on it at times, and that's what really made it like mix of flaws, you know? The camera, you know what I'm saying, is real, like, you know? It keeps up with the view because you have to control it yourself. But this just in, webs all, need like, something to stick to. And stuff, yeah, and it gets kind of, you know, like sloppy, like, you know? I'm always awesome. Sometimes I'm extra awesome. So you can see right now on the wall I'm climbing and as you can see my Spider-Man is scarred all up you know <laughs> like his costume is all tore up and stuff scars all over and stuff I like how you can repel down on uh, anything too you know and you see the traffic rail it looks cool you know I was definitely ready, even if you're not a Spider-Man fan, but definitely if you're like uh, a Spider-Man fan, I would highly uh, recommend uh, playing this. There's no question, you should definitely try this. I'm saying if you like going to Spider-Man, no question about it. I would highly recommend it. Because I saw like some of the reviews for this, and they got like five point this and that. Terrible reviews, and it definitely is not that bad. It really is not that bad at all. I believe it really was underrated. But there would have been so many of these, you know, I guess you can kind of look at it from that like, point of view, you know. I 
traffic. You see my brother's light for watching the traffic. You see the ocean out there for all that stuff too, you know. Pretty cool, you know. Web swinging is so fun. Just swinging around the city, that is so fun. I mean, it looks so cool just swinging. Now, I know, like, in the Batman games, you know, the Arkham games, they didn't kind of change them when they got to Arkham City and Arkham Origins. Like, they give you, like, a whole city now to, like, glide around in as Batman, so you can use your grapple. It's kind of similar to this, you know. Slinging fail. But those are actually better than this though. They did much, the game makers, they, they did a much better job on the, the Batman Arkham games. That's probably the only problem with this, like I said before, like the controls, and like the, uh, the camera, you know, it can kind of off. And then some of the other uh, missions that you can do, have to do find another way. the same thing, you know over and over. But that's, that's what I'm saying. He's, that's, what he, that's what he did. He's a hero, you know. <laughs> okay, so this is a JDS Gamer. And this is my commentary for Spider-Man. Alright. What do you make Spider-Man? 